think it's really cool about Pinterest having like their own predictions on their website available to creators is that like it's like <laughs> Okay guys, I know it's a little early for a grocery haul, but a little late on one, but we're doing it. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry guys, like I said, we literally just got home. Um, first thing up ground turkey, or not ground turkey, but ground beef. It's the Kroger brand, 80-20 uh, ground beef. Um, I'm tired. I literally got off work, went to go pay my little G and W bill, and then came home to get around my list and go grocery shopping. Get out of here. I got the French fries. Oh. Yeah. Uh, got French roast Folgers instead of the dark, the silk, black silk one, because they didn't have it at the Kroger I went to. Which sucks. That's okay. Gotta do what you can. And then I got the Sanderland, <laughs> Sanderland Farms turkey, or uh, chicken ch uh, tenderloins. So it'll be easier to cut up. With our chicken, I already got enough chicken. Um, next is the sea pack popcorn shrimp breaded. Is this something else other than chicken? Please put that somewhere. I cannot do it right now because you know I'm doing a video. I'll leave it right here on top of Um, I think the last of this frozen stuff I have, guys, is a big three pound or three and a half pound of chicken nuggets. Um, okay, I still gotta get this. I got a thing of the International Delight Caramel Macchiato Creamer and Pumpkin Spice since we are getting into fall. Yes, I am that basic white girl. Anyways, yeah, I had to get that because fall is coming around. Guys. Then I also have one thing of the mini spooners, which y'all know is my jam on cereal, literally. Um, two things in milk. It's the red top vitamin D one. Yeah. Got home and haven't been able to sit down yet and relax. Uh, 
Next is bananas. Um, even though I don't have my kids here, bananas is still another thing that runs through my house. Um, okay, well, I got two things of the smidge and spoon grated graduate sugar. It's the four pounds. I need to get 25 like I want to keep bringing this up because my butt was tired when I did this. Literally my butt was tired. Um I have two things of potatoes, one being the um red potatoes and the regular russet potatoes. So that my boyfriend and I can get eat potatoes a little more often. These are the russet. Yeah, these are the russet because the russet that I got while shopping got a hole in them. Um next fresh thing I got planted oak. Oat milk, the extra creamy original. Since I like oat milk too, with certain things. Um, got three things of the Buffalo Ranch Chopped Salad Kit by Taylor Farms. Got like, three of these. Um, the reason why I got three is because if I get three of them, it kind of comes out as $11 even. If you have a progress card, which I do, so I was able to do it. Um, and then last of the meats, guys, was the Honeysuckle Grill Master. Um, garlic and herb ten, uh, pork tenderloins. I have two of them. Again, guys. Well, well, I keep saying that. Anyways, don't worry about me. I'm just talking. Um, I'm gonna grab this other sugar and put it up. I mean. With everything that I got today, guys, it was on my list because I needed to get it. But some weren't on my list because, like, the salad wasn't on my list. Um, but everything else was. Um, I have to go through it again and redo it. So I know what I need to get the next time I go to the grocery store. Um, next one was a big thing of Purex, which is laundry detergent. I got a big thing of it since I got to wash clothes and everything at some point. And then last but not least is a 12 can pack of Alani Moo uh, of the Breezeberry, which actually is really good for caffeine. Um, I can tell, only tell you all this about that what I spent was $245 and some change, but that was my stuff including... My grandparents' stuff. Um, other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Normal type hunt, ghost hunting investigation. I don't know what to call it, but I just go to the most haunted places in the world. And I brought my dad with me on one trip. It was a long time ago. It was on another channel that I had before. It's not even on this channel. Okay, so I know this is going to be like a triage of. Um, Videos all combine as one because I am bad at doing daily videos now. I don't know why. Probably because my butt gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning and didn't have to get ready for work. Yay me! So I don't have time to video, like to make a video anymore. <laughs> it feels like I don't have time to make a video. Um... Because I get up, I have to get ready for work, um, and if I'm not doing that, I'm studying, um, because I am going to school again, 
uh, starting Monday, so the 22nd. I am in the midst, since I'm off on weekends this month, um, I'm in the midst of trying to get my house together between now and October so that I can do um, a Christmas Carol over at Theater Memphis without a hassle other than the fact of just having to clean dishes when I need to. Um, and also because my car is still in the shop. It's been in the shop since Monday. Um, this past Monday. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what I'm doing right now is that... I know I'm not getting anything done because I'm talking to y'all. Um, is that I'm just cleaning up my youngest's room. And... I am merging both children together. Yes, I am putting both of them in the same room again. Um, why? Because. Hold on. I can't put y'all up there. I mean, I can put y'all here with the still top under the blanket. Because, yes, this is this little curtain thing in my, in, in the room that I'm trying to get together for both children is supposed to be a comforter. I bought it from Etsy. And I was expecting it to be stuffed. But it's not. It's okay. It's okay. It's Lion King comforter, but it's okay, like I said. Um, and yes, I am at the window seal right now. Um, but yeah. I am merging both kids together again. Um... Because my youngest has toys in her room. And I thought it would be a little bit more convenient. Even though the oldest is eight. The youngest is five. And I'm trying to teach the oldest privacy. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Because she keeps coming in the coming into the, into, to the room I'm in now. Because it has toys in it. Not like the oldest has books or... Um, stuffed animals of her own to where she can play by herself. Like, literally play with the stuffed animals by herself. Um, but, like I said, the oldest keeps coming into this room and, of course, I tell her, hey, just make sure to knock because I don't want you to be invading your sister's privacy. Um, on top of the fact that your sister... Might want to just play with the toys by herself for a little bit. Just so that she can reconnect to herself. You know, I try to do that. Um, but since it's happened a couple of times. Before the mom took the kids away. Which is another reason why I've been posting late. Well, I believe that's the reason why I've been posting late too. Is because we don't have the kids anymore. I think I told... I think I talked about this in last week's video. Um, the mom decided to grab both kids. Um, because things weren't going her way. Um, and there's literally nothing we can technically do about it. Since she does have sole custody. Um, over both children. Uh, both being my boyfriend. Um, he. I don't know. Um, the cops were on my boyfriend's side because my boyfriend explained, look, I've spent so much on these, uh, supplies already, um, and I don't want to have to give it to her because she's, because she's taking them away from me, um, because there was also that fact of there might be a high chance on she bringing them back. And turn around and actually put them in school close to us. Um, to where we could take them to school. Because, uh, well, to where we could take them to school. We have suggested her to um, change her address. So that they both can go to 
school in the district of his step parents' house, which would be Treadwell Elementary here in Memphis. Um, so we tried that because I because we've explained to her that since both Jackson Elementary and Wells Station did not take the kids because we've ex because the mom because the mom explained that the kids were with us and everything that um and we would be bringing them and taking them from, to and from school she tried explaining that since that was true it, it they still wouldn't take it they said that they needed to take them to school that we need to take them to school in her district. Um, well, the ID that she had for that di for the district would have put us on getting them to and from school over at Leadership Prep, which is where the oldest went. Um, and leadership prep has told us that the oldest couldn't get in because they had no more spaces in third grade. And then the youngest could get in. Could. So that would be a yes on the youngest to get into kindergarten. And I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fill out the application. And or try to fill out the application because... If we can get the youngest in, there might be a high chance we might get the old the oldest in if someone drops. The mom didn't want to do that. The mom didn't even want to put them in school over at like Willow Elementary either. To where both of them could get in. So with her not doing that, she suggested where we where we would have to take them to school over off of 4th or 4th Street and that's about 25 minutes to her house or that's literally like 25 minutes to get to her house then maybe 10 minutes to get to the elementary school and then 25 minutes back to our house so, I mean, that's like maybe a full hour or so where we would have to take them to school, come back, get ready for work, and he and I go to work. We we were like, we can't do that. And then she got pissed off because of all that to the point to where she was like, I'm coming to get the kids and I need their school supplies. And I told her, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to allow you to do that. Um, for the school supplies. I'm not going to let you have the school supplies because I've already paid for them out of my money and this, that, and the other. And she got mad and then she texted me saying that um, the, that since she was there, the oldest wanted her cat. And I said, no, I'm not going to let her lose her um, I'm not going to let her lose her stuff because she's at your house. Um, and that's when she blocked me and then she unblocked me to tell me that I was the bad person that... I allowed the oldest to make dinner, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, child. I mean, she was acting like a child. I'm just summing up, but she was acting like a child. And I was like, whatever. Whatever you say. Because <laughs> I never, because what she was saying I knew was a lie. Um, because that was the whole point of. Because, like, at first she thought that I wasn't going to let her slide with the lies. And I was going to let her slide with everything. I'm not going to do that. I, I have learned my place with her to sit here and just say, 
you know, I told her honestly that if she wanted to talk anything to talk to my boyfriend, which is who she needed to talk to, if you have anything else, please talk to Nick about it, my boyfriend about it. Um, but other than that, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want to be put in the middle of it, this time the other. Um, so I blocked her. Um, so I was like, since you want to do that, I'm just, no. Then she went to my boyfriend asking if we were, one, if he was going to get the kid, both kids, um, last weekend. And he said he couldn't because he had to go to work. He wasn't lying because he's at work now. Um, and she was like, okay. She was like, and then that's when she said that I can come get them. This, that, and the other. I said, well, he told, I even asked her if she even brings me up in the middle of it to please leave me out of it. Because I'm, I really don't want to be in the middle of it anymore. Um, which is true. I don't want to be in the middle of it anymore. This is between him and her. Not me, him, and her. It's their problem. About what's going on with the kids now. Yes, I might have an opinion on it. And yes, I might... You know, might talk things over with him. But at the end of the day, it's not mine. It's not my decision. There's only certain decisions that I sit here and be like, no, I'm sorry. But when it comes to them, I that's no. That's between them. Uh, like, visitations and stuff. Um, but... Um... And that's when she was like, okay, if you're not going to get them at all, I'm just going to block you. That's what she did. And then unblocked him two days later and saying, and said that if you're, that since you've said, or since apparently you said that I can't, I'm not going to get the kids anymore, that I want to make sure you, that he, she was going to make sure that my boyfriend wouldn't get them at all. And we haven't had them since. She hasn't messaged him since to see if he wanted them or to see if he can come pick them up. Um, we have, I mean, she does this and she's been doing this for the past two years that he and I've been together. Um, there will be about four months where she has them, just completely straight up has them. And then there are there are about five, or no, then there's about four months where there's visitation. Either we have them and she gets visitation, or she has them and we get visitation. And the other four months out of the year, we strictly have them. So it's like she wants joint custody but also wants visitation rights. So we're kind of, so, um, yeah, that's where we're at with the kids is that we don't have them, but I, that's why I'm saying I'm moving both kids back in the same room. Um, and when I do that, I'm going to go ahead. After I do that, I'm, mo I'm transforming the, um, spare bedroom into an office space slash um, guest room so that in case if we have someone come over like my boy like my boyfriend Jesus like my bro my youngest brother if he comes over he has so that he has a room to stay in it just makes sense because the youngest I mean when we had it originally we had it set up where the oldest had her own room then she started picking at walls and everything because she was bored from being grounded. Then she and the oldest started drawing on walls, which she hasn't here recently, which is good, but still. Um, 
but the oldest wants to, you know, but like I said, the oldest always wants to come in and play with the toys, so it just makes sense to put them back in the same room. Now, with the divorce, um, when we have the money saved up and everything, um, she, yeah. Um, and then, like I said, I was honest with her, told her everything, how I felt about everything, and I told her that that's the reason why she calls the cops is because, and, you know, something's not going her way. That's why she always calls the cops. Something's not going her way. Doesn't matter what it is with the kids, something's not going her way. And she doesn't like it, so that's why she calls the cops. And then... The thing is that I think it's funny because when she came to pick up the girls, the car wasn't here and she assumed that I, I was home. She assumed I was home and she assumed I was going to give Allie her cat. No. But the good thing is, I can tell y'all honestly, the cops were on my boyfriend's side. Which makes me happy that there's at least some cops who are on her, who is on his side about it. I mean, all the cops were on his side, but they were also on the, on the, uh, mom side. Because they knew that there wasn't anything that they can do. I mean, the cops weren't going to, I mean, I guess these cops were like, we're not going to force you to do something that you don't want to do. Or not. I mean, the kids, yeah, you have to give that up because since she has sole custody. And they didn't understand. And, like, they, like, my boyfriend explained the whole situation. And they were kind of confused why the school systems weren't allowing my, you know, weren't allowing the kids to get enrolled in school close to us. Close to me and him. Because she said she wanted us to help with the kids. And I told her. We, we want to help with the kids. But she still didn't like it. But anyways, let me get this... Th this room... These rooms... Figured out. Because it is 11.35. My boyfriend gets off at 3. And I kind of need to get this... Together. So that I can... Um... I kind of have to get this semi together even if it means that my office isn't ready yet and I just do it tomorrow type thing um so yeah oh, give me a minute okay so this is pretty much what my project's been is moving my oldest even though I haven't gotten her poster up, off and put up yet and everything I need to move this in there too Oh, yeah, yeah, this girl. Oh, it's like that's all she worries about. I mean, I gotta throw it away because she doesn't need it. She really doesn't need it. Um, it's a backpack, and I have a new backpack for her. I gotta move her purse in there. It's this little shimmery purse I gotta move in there. Um, so, yeah. In order to finish my project... I have to move that poster, like untag it from the wall, and tack it in my old in in the other room next to this one, along with having to put all this. It'll focus. Jeez, not be so blurry. There we go, and put all this stuff. On the floor. In here. Um, um, but yeah, so this is pretty much what it looks like right now. Having to put both girls in the same room again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the purse behind the door because that's where it was. In the other room, I'm going to throw this away because she doesn't need it. And yes, there's cleaning supplies. 
See, this is why I said that I had to clean is because my living room still looks like a total wreck. Along with my kitchen, my kitchen still looks like a total wreck. And guys, this is what I was going to do literally tomorrow. I was going to get the kitchen, get the living room, and get this bathroom. Well, I was just going to sweep and mop the bathroom, honestly. But yeah, this is what I'm saying is that I was, my idea for cleaning today was obviously do two loads of dishes, which I still haven't done yet. Clean. Obviously, I cleaned this room and got it together, kind of sort of. I just got to get that, get the leftover stuff and move it in here. Um, and, well, so that's one room. Sweep, mop this room and get it organized. Well, but I sweeped, mopped, and got, and I'm getting it together ish. Cause I just gotta separate those clothes from regular clothes and my Disney clothes. <laughs> Along with what I have in the living room. But I gotta separate the two dirty Disney items I have in the living room and put it in my dirty clothes pile. Like, so yeah, I mean, I'm almost done in here. Literally almost done, so I can have a fresh start in this room. I uh, just gotta get gotta get that poster. Get try to f figure out how I'm gonna put all of this in that other room when I don't have enough storage yet. Yeah, I don't have storage, but yet I could go to five below, which is where I'm going to decorate this whole room because so I'm taking that sheet down too guys um and I still gotta move this bad thing back across the way all by myself um like I said I have to I have to do this all, I have to do this, move all this stuff across the way, find a t-shirt to wear for tonight, call my grandparents. Why is there a hole in my, in my ceiling? Sorry. I'm just noticing a hole in my ceiling. Wow. <laughs> in my room. Anyways, yeah, I gotta do that, move my stuff, I mean, move whatever I can, including my, well, I'm moving my desk across the way. Gotta do that. Take a shower. Find a t-shirt to wear today for tonight. Because I'm going out. And y'all are going to see that, I promise. And I got to call my grandparents. See if they can pick me up at 5. And or pick me and my boyfriend up at 5. And it is, hold on. It's 3.46, so I have roughly an hour and 10 minutes to get my desk over there set up so I can wipe it down and everything. Take a shower and go from there. Um, what I might do, like I said, is I might just, well, like I said, what I might do is that I might just go ahead and empty my whole desk out. And wipe it down and everything and not fix it till tomorrow morning depending if my boyfriend has to work or not I mean it shouldn't have mattered matter it should not matter when my boyfriend has to go to work but it matters to me because I personally have to um, I it matters to me because it depends on what time he and I have to come home Depends on what time I have to get up tomorrow morning. Because um, if I get up at 5 o'clock again, that's fine. That's fine for me because 
That means I can get up, get myself together and motivated and hit everything that I need to hit tomorrow that I did not get finished tonight or today. But yeah, stay tuned. Okay, um, so my boyfriend and I didn't go out last night like we thought we would, um, because last night I was told that, last minute, that there was going to be free food because we kind of knew that we wouldn't be able to have the money to, um, yeah, let me pause Tim Tracker because y'all probably want me. Y'all probably cannot hear me. Yes, I am re I am watching the Tim Tracker live show because I missed it um, yesterday. Um, anyways, um, or not yet. Not yesterday, Friday. I missed it. Yes, I missed it. Um, anyways, like I said, we didn't go out last night like I thought we would. Because last minute we were told that, well, it wasn't last minute, it was maybe, I found out roughly around 2 o'clock, and I didn't, I wasn't able to tell my boyfriend about it until he got home around 4.30, 5 o'clock. Um... So last minute type thing, we got to pay for, it was one of those like, first I said yeah because um, we were told a week ago that it was going to be free um, food. So yeah, I said yes, I'm going to come. And that I don't know if my boyfriend will be able to make it because I didn't know what his work schedule looked like for yesterday. Well, around 2 o'clock when I found out that we had to still pay for our food. Um, and he and I would have been able to, to do it if either A... Um, Nick, or well, if we would have been able to pay for ourselves if A, well, it was pretty much just because we had to pay our cricket bill, an extra cricket bill that could have been avoided if cricket didn't, yeah, we would have been able to do it if cricket didn't have to, did not have to charge us for an extra bill. So, um, yeah, we didn't go anywhere last night, and it made me so aggravated because I was like, we can go, da 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 da, I was so excited, um, and then it made me mad that we couldn't, and, and aggravated. But at the same time, I was sitting here like, it must be nice to go do something and not have to worry about paying for it. Because my grandma, my um, grandpa, my mom, my brothers all went to go to this thing. My mom and my youngest brother do not have a job. And they went. So it's one of those, it must be nice to go do something without having any money. Yeah, exactly. Like my boyfriend said, it, might, it must be nice to have people it must be nice going to do things with people who are willing to pay for you all the time. So, um, yeah, that's where y'all didn't, that's why y'all didn't 
aren't seeing footage from last night at all. Because I pretty much stayed home. Um, other than that, that's pretty much our day. We got to, um, here in a few, we have to go and start cleaning again. Because uh, we got to get the house in order. Um, I mean, and like I said, on the weekends now, <clears throat> excuse me, on the weekends now, since I'm off at the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and. Yeah, once we get the house in order, it'll stay in order. It's just, um, it's kind of out of order due to the fact that we've been working. We've also been, um, yeah, we've just had a lot of nonsense going on for the past two weeks. Um, like you all already know, so, yeah. Anyways, I'll keep you all updated with what's going on. Okay, so it is 7 o'clock at night, and I got to try to get stuff done, because I still got to study before tomorrow, because I got to work and do school stuff. Um, so this is not really a, yes, I am watching Tim Tracker. I know you can hardly see it, but I'm watching Tim Tracker because he's on the wish and I've been trying to find all these different, um, all these different videos of it. Um, just to see how it looks, um, to get a gist of what I'm expecting if I do decide to go on a cruise on the wish with family or by myself. Um, but I'm feeling a little tired and this is not sponsored by these people, but it's good to actually have, sorry, I'm mosquito bite. Um, <laughs> it's not sponsored by them, but I just want to show you what I was pretty much drinking while I'm studying and watching Tim Tracker. Um, I am having Alani new. Um, it is their Breezeberry um, energy drink. Um, you can have only one can, and like I said, um, I've been trying to get into drinking stuff like that. I'm like a Lonnie New and stuff and things. Um, I haven't tried their pre workouts yet. Or anything else. I've just been getting their canned energy drinks. Um, and I this the their Breezeberry is the one that both myself and my boyfriend like. Um, he likes the Hawaiian shaved ice. Um, he doesn't like the mimosa too much, but I like it. Um, but this is the only one I could find that in a 12 pack. Um, serving size is obviously one can. Don't have more than one can. Just want to get you. Um, has 15 calories, um, zero total fat, 106, 106, 170 milligrams of sodium, um, which is about 7%, um, 2% total carbohydrates, which no sugar, no total sugars, but it includes, um, no added sugars. Um, but there's one gram of sugar alcohol. That was a little weird. And no protein in it, obviously. Um, for some reason, it says there's one milligram of calcium, 32 milligrams of potassium, um, 16.8 milligrams of niacin. Um, 1.8 milligrams of vitamin B6, 2.5 mil kilograms, no, not milligrams, micrograms, Jesus, if I can read, I went to school forever, you think I would know all this, uh, but yeah, 2.5, um, micrograms of vitamin B12, 30 micrograms of biotin, and 5 Point three milligrams of the pantothenic acid. 
So yeah, that's what's all in here. I just wanted to let y'all know what I was doing. There's a see. It's the tutu! My boyfriend brought the dogs in because it looks like it's about to rain again. So, yeah. Alrighty, um, good morning, <laughs> it's Monday, ah, you also, here, y'all are on my computer, so that's why we all fell, um, it is Monday, August 22nd, it's the start of classes for college students, yay, um, so I just ran into a problem with one of my classes. Um, it was my, or it is my communication inquiry class. Um, apparently I can't get into the module until Wednesday. Uh, which is weird when she has something that started, when she has an assignment starting today. Um, I mean, I could start on it. But I still gotta, you know, I still gotta do X, Y, and Z just to do it. And it's 7.15. I have an hour until my granddad comes and picks me up to get to work since I am still with no car. Um, because, I mean, if I had my car, I would have been getting ready at like 8.00. Um, leaving the house by 8.30 to get to work by 9. Um. But I have like 15 minutes until I have to get myself ready and together drink my coffee <clears throat> and be Again, together and ready by 8.30. Or 8.15, 8.30. So, like I said, I have about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to get myself... Or to look over everything for classes. Get myself together, ready, and at work by 9. Or, yeah. Well, by 8.30 and then have to be at work by 9 type of thing. Um, I got up at... Five, but went back to bed. Uh, um, I guess because my body needed it more than what I thought. I got up at 6.25 and then I took the dogs out, made coffee, and just sat my butt down and watched a YouTube video uh, by Ashley Ray. Uh, <clears throat> and now I'm watching... Uh, Fifty Shades of Mom that she just published that she just published or like it like it was out an hour ago um which I get because she she's mom she's mom she gets up early she's able to do all this x y and z um but with being a college student working full time and a stepmom it's hard because this week technically <clears throat> even if I did have my kids um, and like let's say they have to be called out like even if my boyfriend's kids I guess I call them my kids but um, if they were here and they were sick my boyfriend would have had to be here. Um, to take care of them. Not like he's already off today, but just in generalness. Um, my boyfriend would have to be home taking care of them. For the day, I would have to go to work because since it is the first week of classes for college students 
That includes Southwest and um, University of Memphis. Um, I can't just call off. Or I just can't leave early. Because of, because of things. Because <clears throat> it's technically still, it's still part of our rush this week. I should have, I should have thought more clearly on this. About getting this job, getting this job. Because now, since my car is still in the shop, I would either have to go get it. Once when they open, once when the mechanic, like if, the mechanic calls saying, hey, my car is ready. Today. I would either have to go A, on my lunch break. Or B. Um, uh, or B, once when they open at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And they're only open from 1 to 5. Monday through Thursday and then 1 to 4. Or not 1 to 4, but... Da, 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 7 to 5, Monday through Thursday, and then 7 to 4. Yeah, so 1 to 5, Monday through Thursday, 7 to 4 on Fridays. And my job gets like extremely slow the last hour from like 4.30 to 5.30 is when we get like extremely slow so uh, I mean and then we're open on Saturdays from like 11 to 4 right now until games start. Like football games start. Um, to the point that, <clears throat> like I said, I just, for me personally, I just can't leave work. And I don't want to have to get up. I mean, I'm already getting up at the butt crack of dawn at 5 o'clock. And everything. Just to have some extra time either with my boyfriend before he goes into work or... And extra time to study before I have to get ready for work. Um, like I said, I should have thought this through before I left Ortho South. I should have sat here and told him, "Look, I can only work part time, and I get and I have to get off at like." Three, 2.30, 3 o'clock, or mainly at 2.30 because, I mean, I would have had to gone to the Ortho South at 3 and everything, or I would have just told him, look, I can only work from this time to this time. Because, I mean, I explained to him at first that um, I have to take, like, I told him that I had to take my boyfriend to work because he was working from 1.30 to close at night. And then, um, like I said, I was working 
he was working from one thirty from one he would have to go into work between one thirty and two thirty at night and then get off about depending on the day nine to ten. So I was like, okay, that'll be perfect, yada yada yada. And they said they'll work to where I would have my lunch. <clears throat> Excuse me. The work around to where I could, that with my uh, lunch, I can come home because it takes 15 minutes to get here. 15 minutes to get to his work. Then another 30 minutes to get back out, maybe 15, 30 minutes to get back out to my work. So, I would be using my whole lunch break to go, you know, to pick him up, take him to work, and come back um, if I had the car. Now, since he's working from, like, 7 a.m. to um, you know, since he's working from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, It just makes more sense if, like, he takes me to work. And then either he picked me up or have somebody pick me up and take me to um, Theater Memphis so that... Because I'm also doing the Christmas Carol, the nighttime Christmas Carol, for me personally. So that's why I'm trying to find something that I can actually work with. That I can come in early, leave when I can, you know, leave. Yeah, like I said, come in early, leave early, or leave right at about 5.30 so that I can get to Theater Memphis and get myself prepared. So I was going to use my work day to also do schoolwork so that I can, like, maybe work from, again, 7 to 3 like my boyfriend use that two and a half hours of work to do school stuff and then go do theater and then come back home. And that's what I'm thinking, but who knows anymore? Because, yeah, like I said, who knows anymore because of the fact that like I said, I wished I'd gone, like, I wished I could, I was offered, with all those South, I was offered part-time, only working from 3.30 to 6.30. Fine, great, that's fine. Um, but... At the same time, my life was like, well, my, my now since I've started school and I've realized that um, I am working full time. I have two online classes all, and all this jazz. I'm trying to figure out how, and I have this whole life, you know, prior to work that is coming on. I'm trying to figure out how to work that out. Um, because my job doesn't want me to leave early. My job doesn't want me to... Come in late. My job doesn't want me to do this. For now. I mean, yes, I get it. It's rush hour. Or it's rush hour. It is technically called rush week at work. But at the same time, I'm sitting here like, I got a life. 
I got other, you know, I got other things to do to make my life at home work so that I can sit here and be ready for work. You know? So, sitting here telling me that I can't leave early because I have to get my car if they call my grandfather before the day's out. Telling me I have to that I have to do this, that, and the other. And yes, I left an hour and a half before my scheduled time so I can go figure out what's going on with my phone Friday because I didn't want to have to get off of work then go worry about this and then, yeah, it's just so much. They want me to do so much, and yet... I... Yeah. I'm like... I already went to therapy. They want me to come on the 14th. Because that's when I'll have two base... Pretty much paychecks. They do paperless. So I had to print off my two paychecks. Just to get it done. Yeah. So, just... Good morning. Coffee's made. I just haven't been able to get up to get it, to get it because I've been... So z- zoned into getting YouTube and schoolwork and trying to figure out how I want to work my life. So yeah, okay, I guess I'll see y'all later. I think this is going to be a a long a two week long vlog for y'all. And it's going to be so long. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Oh no. Wait, where was I? I was, like I said, I'm trying to figure out my life along with work that can work with me. I mean... I can't help that my car's been in the shop for a week. Which, yeah, which messed us up. On trying to get to work. Trying to get off of work. And all this other stuff. Along with the fact that they are strict this week. Because this is the first week of school. I get that. But, also at the same time, if you want me to get to work, you have to let me go get my car. To get to work. Which is why I said that this mechanic's open from like 7 in the morning to freaking 5. And I get off between 5.30 and 6 o'clock during the week. And I normally go in between 8.30 and 9, depending on the day. Because my because my work's not consistent of making me work from, like, 9 to 5.30 or 9 to 6. So that it can give me the two, hour, the, the two hours and 45 minutes before I go I had to go in and clock in for work. <clears throat> to, you know, get my car. So I don't have to use my brake to go get my car. So I don't have to use... It makes sense. But, you know, like I said, I... That's why I'm, like, to the point of just... Literally no return. Um, I'm to the point... I'm... I'm 50-50 on... I mean, I don't want to quit because I need this job so I can show proof of... Paychecks. 
But then I also want another one where I can... So that if I have to be late, I can be late and not have somebody be mad. Or I can go get my car from the mechanic and not be mad. So that I can, you know, do other stuff and they not get mad at it. Which is why I'm trying to do YouTube. Okay. I'm at 20 minutes on this. Yeah, I have to get ready. It is 7.34. I got to get coffee in me and I have to get clothes together. Yeah, I just... Mm. This is not like every retail store that I've worked at. Because all of the other retail stores that I've worked at were the common generic thing of whatever whatever we have right now is what we got right now. And we don't know when it's going to come in. That's our generic. This one, if we have it, I mean, it's still that generic, but at the same time, it's like, We don't need somebody who just... They're like, we just don't need somebody who just says something. I'm like... So, yeah. Um, anyways, I guess I'll get to y'all here later and we'll talk more so I can get ready for work. And everything. Yeah. Okay, guys. <clears throat> um, it is one fourteen ish. I've been on break. I've been on my lunch for about fifteen minutes now. I'm trying to finish. Because, um, I gotta run some errands before I come back to work. So, before I clock back in, um, and everything, um, The one thing I do like about here is that um, I can just so I can have my hour lunches and go run errands. And they have it where I have my lunch at one o'clock every day, which is good. But now since my boyfriend is working from seven a.m. to three every day not too worried about it I'm really not so that means that <clears throat> I just can and that means I can take him to work I come you know, I'm on my way here at work. The only problem is, is that when one o'clock hits, it's either I go to his work and he brings me home or he brings me here or or he just has to find a ride home so that I can come to work or so that I can stay at work. I don't know that. I really don't. Anyways, let me finish my lunch. I'll get back to y'all after uh, work. Because like I said, I got errands to run before I clock in. 
So, yeah. In order to understand these concepts fully, you will need to watch clips provided in the supplemental materials. You will need to identify these structures and their What are you functions. doing? Baby! Oh, okay. He doesn't love me anymore! Okay, guys, it is 8.37. I gotta hop in the fast and get ready for the night, other than the fact of having to catch up on communication inquiry and get the first module stuff done with them or with that class. Um, which is what I might do tomorrow. Um... So yeah, I guess I'll see y'all here in a minute, and then I might end the vlog tonight. I don't know yet. I never know what I want to do with the vlog. I just know I gotta get, keep y'all updated with everything. I've been applying to places like 24-7 a day. Trying to find somewhere that I know I'm good at, like Playhouse on the Square, theater stuff. Making coffee. Vapes. This is apparently I smoke my vape a lot. Um, but yeah, I gotta hop in the shower. Or hop in the bath. So I wanna have a nice warm bath. And then and then a shower to help clean off the access the excess dirt access excess the dirt and go from there. So yeah.